All right, welcome here to Camping Outdoors. This is your host, Rob. Uh, in this video, we're going to go over the Swiss Tech hatchet. And I think this is a really fine tool if you're out camping or if you're going to take on the bushcrafting skills. So stay tuned and uh, we'll jump right into it. Okay, this is the uh, Swiss Tech hatchet uh, to review. The overall length is about 14 and a half inches from, from the back to the front is about seven and a half. Uh, it does not come with this fill rod. I purchased this on my own uh, because the original one that comes with this is too small. It does come with a whistle for this one. Uh, but it was falling out because over time leather likes to stretch and uh, When it's cold, but it'll be tight in there and of course when it's brand new it's going to be tight But uh, it fell out on me about three or four times So uh, This one I had two of these and it comes with uh, The paracord and it comes with a striker uh, For their hatchet They have no uh, you know, they have no place to actually strike the ferro rod onto. Uh, you don't want to use your blade, and uh, there's a knife inside. You don't want to use a knife. So we'll go ahead and jump into that. Um, it has two button snaps on the side and a button snap on the top. So once you take those off, uh, you take the back off, and that'll drop down, of course. And then uh, your blade is about three and a half inches long very very sharp uh, and that's the and this is either you can use it as a, a wedge bar or you can uh, you can use it to dig or or you can be able to, uh, to pry with it uh, got it at the bottom when it comes out you do have a knife the overall length of the whole thing is about eight inches the blade itself is uh, three and three quarters of an inch. The saw part of it is about three inches. The width of the saw coming this way and back is about a sixteenth of an inch, but it's very, very sharp. Uh, it does, at the end of the threads down here at the bottom, it does have a rubber O-ring. So when you put that back up in there and you want to tighten it back down, It'll, it'll snug it really tight and it leaves no gaps so that way no water damage will cause to that blade over time to make it rust. The grip is about uh, seven and a half to eight inches I think. I think it's seven and a half inches long uh, and that's the case if your hands get wet or if it's raining out there you won't be able to slide off that grip. So, um, the pros is everything is great on this. The cons is the ferro rod because there is no place to actually spark it. And, um, and it would be dangerous because if you're using your blade to, uh, to spark it or even the knife, is that you don't want to damage the blades on um, this. And uh, there's just nowhere to actually get it to go. I mean, unless if you want to use like the blade itself but um, that's about it here for the Swiss Tech now we're going to go ahead and demonstrate it to see what it can do all right well got everything out for me I always like to keep my uh, ferro rod locked in place so I know where it's at instead of three or four or five things on the ground uh, whenever you're gonna be cutting up your wood like most of this is going to be pretty dead, so, uh, and you can see how fast, I mean, that's just going through. So. I tried to burn this before, so that's going to be a little hard, uh, but it's, and, uh, we're going to use that piece there for the suit. Yeah, 
I see it so dead that it just... And if you're doing some type of feathering or... I think this would be great too. You just need to get it to where you can got more control over it so if I had that board uh, as it just works really good now you can use that like that so you can whittle it down if you're going to put something on there to cook with, marshmallows, hot dogs, or even a, a dead rodent, you know. Uh, the saw, that's the main thing here. we got to get to the saw here. See if I can grab a... Actually, we'll just do that piece right here. Is the well, I'm gonna show you the knife too. So let's do the knife. Let me bust the end off of it. This is kind of green because I can still see the green in it. Just to show you how sharp the knife is, I mean, it'll take the bark right off. And uh, there is a lot of green in here. I can see that it's still green. That's a green stick. So, there's a, a number of things in here that this blade would be good for. I'm gonna have to use the knife's. Uh, edge you know if you no know, if I want to use that edge I might be able to get the spark but I don't want to damage my blade you know on something you know say if this was two hundred dollars you don't want to damage this for something that costs ten dollars that's just uh it, it's just not feasible you know uh it's better to have another tool associated with that. Get some of that moss going. And you see how that just flamed up and it'll burn a lot more hotter than anything else. And uh, that way the more that you got it up there, I just like to pack it up there and just let it do its thing. Just like so. Uh, I like to have a little packer stick here. And uh, that's just going to feed it in there. And that's all inside right now. So I can keep on moving with it, but like I was trying to get at is uh having the combination to start with a hatchet uh, or a good knife or a good uh, uh, machete or something is that uh, uh, and your ferro rod and of course you want to have something like the cotton balls there there with the Vaseline and you ain't got to really smear a whole bunch on them, just, just wipe it a little bit and then it'll go. But all this white smoke means that it's all right, I wanted to uh, go over real quick here is that uh, the hatchet itself is uh, for most likely doing small small obstacles and stuff. Uh, if you, you lay uh, a piece down in the middle, you know, uh, parallel away from you, you can probably snap it into two or three pieces. Uh, also, if you're looking to, uh, say like 
on this piece. I, I cut this with the hatchet, but I mean, I cut this with the, uh, the machete, sorry. But say if I'm here and if I need to cut this piece, you know, out, I can do so even with this. And say if I need that piece, you know, then I got that piece. Uh, and then if I need to debark it um, to use uh, any of the bark to start a fire with, I can do so. Um, and then also I can lay that down and I can snap that in half going this way. Um, but uh, hatchet's meant for light duty. It's not an axe for busting up wood, but for smaller branches and limbs. Uh, and it just went through this like pretty good and easy. This is all wet already because it's already bleeding out the water. Uh, I'll put that over there to the fire. But I'll see if I can pop that one out too. That was pretty big. Uh, and it's just tearing right through it. I already got a and just like that I got that one and that's good two and a half inches around so uh, this thing does chop so um, throw that over there too to make it hiss uh, is Say if you're down here, I got a bunch of wood and all that, but say that you're down here and uh, see if I can get you down here with me. Uh, if you got a piece of wood that you need to get in the middle and break that out, turn it around away from me and work it back, it should start to break open into two then just like that and then you can go back down it again that's if you want to keep having longer ones so uh